Hi everyone, we're going to start in a second. So hopefully you can see me okay. If it gets a little bit dark, I'll close the curtain, okay? But uh, I think it's all right for now. We've got a nice mandala flow for you today. We're going to get into some back bending. We'll get into some hamstring lengthening as well, okay? So uh, as usual, modify when you need to modify. Do what you need to do to look after your body. We're going to start. So let's come to Vajrasana. Seated on the heels if you can, okay? If you need to sit on something else, feel free to do that. Rest your hands on your thighs. Close down your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Lift some energy up your spine. Start to tune into your breath. Maybe connect in with the Ujjayi breath if you want to create a little bit of heat through your practice. Just arrive in the space. The feeling of being calm and quiet you can bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra, a gesture of balance and calm. Now set an intention, a dedication, Anything at all that you're working on in life right now or on your yoga mat that can help be your focus. Now, once you've set this intention or offering, you can gently open your eyes, release your hands on your thighs. Now, with an inhalation, lift your heart towards the sky. First gentle back bend. As you exhale, bow the forehead towards the earth, bow in your practice. As you inhale, open your heart again to the sky. Second gentle back bend, press the tops of the feet into the floor. As you exhale, come to tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and arms nice and straight, knuckles grounded. Now on an inhalation, tuck under the tailbone, draw the belly in, Press your hands down, really round your upper back. As you exhale, let the belly dip towards the mat. Move your heart forwards and up through your nice straight arms. Inhale, tailbone tucks, belly lifts in. Press the hands down, round the upper back in cat pose. Exhale, belly dips, heart moves forwards and up in cow pose. Keep going, follow the movement of your breath, coiling energy in on the inhalation, rounding the upper back, and then expanding and opening on the exhalation. Now this time as you inhale, coil your right knee in towards your nose. Keep pressing the hands down. Now keep your right leg bent, send your right foot up and back, and as you exhale, imagine touching the head with the foot. Inhale, coil the right knee in, press the hands down. Exhale, expand and open, visualize touching the head with the foot. Again, inhale, coil right knee in. Exhale, expand and open. Now inhale, lower the right knee, draw the belly and rib cage into the spine on your exhalation for a neutral spine. Other side, inhale, coil the left knee in. Exhale, expand and open, keep the leg bent. Imagine touching the head with the foot. Inhale, coil, left knee in. Exhale, expand and open, find the bow shape. Again, inhale, coil the knee in and round. Exhale, open and find the bow. Inhale, lower the left knee, curl up under the toes. Everyone find downward facing dog, start to straighten the legs, reach the hips and thighs back. Make any movements, feel free to bend and straighten each leg, just ease the hamstrings away. When you're ready to find stillness, really press into the hands, reach the hips and thighs back away from the fingertips. 
spread the toes and the heels down just as far as they want to go. Eventually, the legs are straight, quads are lifted, but it's still quite early here in Sydney, so if you want to keep your legs bent for a little bit, it's okay. Just find the strength in your arms. Now lift your heels coming up onto the toes, tuck under the tailbone, imagine a wave that travels through the spine to bring yourself forward into a plank position. So find a nice straight line in plank. The feet are driving back away from the crown of the head. The arms are hugging into the center line. The sternum's reaching forwards. The crown keeps reaching forwards away from the heels. Now you keep that alignment, just inhale. There's a slight shift forwards. And as you exhale, slowly bend your arms and lower all the way down to the floor. Keep driving back through the legs as you lower down. Let's set up cobra pose. Untuck the toes, the wrists are below the elbows. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, peel up the head and chest. Exhale, soften back down to the floor. Again, inhale, peel up the head and chest. Cobra. Exhale, soften down. One more time. Cobra, inhale, right. And then exhale, soften down. Curl onto your toes, everyone. Wake up your legs if you can. Press into the hands on an exhalation. Straighten the arms. Come back to plank. Inhale there. And then downward facing dog again on your exhale. Keep reaching the hips and thighs back. Get more length through your spine. More stretch down the back of the legs. Now slowly walk your feet up towards the back of your wrist so your feet will be hip distance apart. Now slide the hands up the front of the legs, just halfway up towards the knees. Inhale there, like halfway to its length in the spine. Then massage down the backs of the legs as you exhale and fold. Inhale, slide the hands up the front of the legs, just halfway. Halfway lift. Massage down the backs of the legs and fold. Again, slide the hands up halfway. Massage down the backs of the legs and fold. Now this time, just keep the fingertips to the floor. Find a halfway lift and turn the feet out in a V shape. Now sit the bum down between your heels, coming to Malasana, yogic squat. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Now when you press into the feet, I want you to inhale, expand in the chest and lift the crown up. When you exhale, bow your head towards your heart. Think of coiling in. Press into the feet. Inhale, broaden through the chest, lift the crown. Exhale, bow towards the heart, relaxing the mind. And again, inhale, press into the feet, broaden the chest, lift the crown. And exhale, bow, take the hands towards the floor. Now straighten the legs, parallel the feet, slide the hands up the front channel, just halfway, one more time, and massage down the backs of the legs and fold. Now this time, inhale, slide the hands up the front channel all the way up to stand. This is your inhale. Hands come to sacrum on the exhale. Fingers face up or down. Now, use the first inhale to lift energy in the legs and lift the chest. Use the exhalation to press the buttocks down towards the heels and hug the arms in. Now, use an inhale just to open the chest towards the sky. And as you exhale, massage down the backs of the legs again and fold, leading with the heart. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, slide the hands up the front channel of your legs, coming all the way up. Hands to sacrum, exhale, get grounded. The first inhale is just to lift energy in the legs and lift the chest. The exhale is to move the butt down to the heels, keep the legs firm, hug the arms in. The inhale is to lift the chest to the sky. The exhale is to massage down the back of the legs and fold. 
Last time, inhaling, slide the hands up the front channel of your legs, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to sacrum, get grounded through the feet. Inhale, then lift energy up the legs, lift the chest. Exhale, move the buttocks down towards the heels, hug the arms in. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky, reach the crown back. Exhale, massage down the back of the legs and fold. Now find a halfway lift, inhale. Now everyone step the left foot back, bend your right leg generously, come to a lunge and put the left hand flat on the floor directly below your left shoulder. Bring your right hand on top of the left shoulder. Everyone move your left shoulder towards your left heel. So press it down towards your left heel and extend your left heel back. Now look at your right foot. Bring your right hand on top of your right foot. Now I want you to turn both feet to the right. So pivot on your right heel and then end up on the blade edge of your left foot and your left leg strong. Now pivot back to centre. We'll do it again. Pajva Anjaneyasana, turn both feet to the right, left leg strong. Come back to centre, one more time, turn both feet to the right, Pajva Anjaneyasana. Now come back to centre, walk your hands around to the left, parallel your feet and now bend your left leg at the back of the mat, Skandasana. Now you can use your left arm for this one just to make sure the left knee is not collapsing in. Both feet are flat, the right leg straight, the left leg generously bent. You feel a stretch in the adductors, the inner groins. This is making up our mandala flow later on. Now slowly walk the hands towards the right foot. Turn the right foot forwards, lift the back heel, step to plank pose. Inhale there, chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog or cobra, whatever you need now for your spine, rise. Downward facing dog, exhale. Press into the hands, reach the hips and thighs back. So find those strong arms, forearms lifting up out of the wrist joints. Inner shoulder wrapping to outer shoulder. Hips and thighs reaching back away from the hands. Maximum length in the spine. Maximum stretch down the back of the legs for you. Now keeping the feet hip distance apart. Next inhale, take the gaze forwards, reach the hips back. Exhale, just step your feet behind your wrists. Find a halfway lift inhale, turn the feet slightly out in the V. Malasana, sit the bum down between the heels, exhale. Hands together in front of the heart. Inhale, broaden the chest, lift the crown. Exhale, bow the head towards the heart and take the hands down to the floor. Straighten the legs, parallel the feet, slide the hands up the front channel just halfway, inhaling. Massage down the back of the legs, exhale, fold. Slide the hands up the front channel all the way, inhaling, coming up. Hands to sacrum, exhale, get grounded first. Inhale, lift energy in the legs, lift the chest. Exhale, move the buttocks down towards the heels, hug the arms in. Lift out of the lower back, lift the spine up and arc it back on the inhale. And as you exhale, massage down the back of the legs and fold. Now find your halfway lift when you inhale. And then step the right foot back now, bend the left leg generously. Right hand flat under the shoulder, right arm strong, left hand on top of right shoulder, Move that right shoulder towards the right heel and keep it plugged in there. Now look at your left foot. Bring the left hand on top of the left foot just for the warm-up round. Turn both feet to the left. So now you're on the blade edge of your right foot. Come back to centre. Pajva Anjaneyasana. Turn both feet to the left. Strong right leg. Come back to centre. 
Again, last one. Pajva Anjaneyasana. Feel it in the hip and the glute. Come back to centre. Now walk your hands around to the right. Parallel the feet. Bend your right leg at the back of the mat. Skandasana. You can use your right arm to keep that right knee from collapsing in. Now slowly start to walk your hands towards your left foot. Turn the left foot forwards, lift your back heel, step to plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog on your exhalation. Press into the hands again, reach your hips and thighs back. Okay, so now we're going to enter the mandala flow. On an inhalation, raise your right leg up as high as you can as the left heel descends. Then bring your right knee towards your nose, lift up high on your left toes, round the upper back and step the right foot forwards for Pajva Anjaneyasana. This time we're not putting the hand on top of the foot. As you turn both feet to the right, you sweep your right arm back. Now, bring the right arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the left leg at the back of the mat. Now, we're going to keep flying to the back, so turn all the way over the left foot. Turn both feet to the left, Pajva Anjaneyasana, sweep the left arm back. Then bring the left arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the right leg at the top of the mat. Now turn to face your right foot, turn the right foot forwards, lift the back heel and then drop the left knee and tuck the back toe. Now as you lift the torso, bring the left hand to the belly, right hand to the tail, left hand pulls in and up, right hand presses down, feel the action of stretching out that left hip flexor, lifting the front of the pelvis, then sweep your arms up. Now keep drawing the right heel towards the back knee through the floor, Keep lifting the energy up through the sides of the torso, lifting the spine. Now on an exhalation, you're going to circle your hands to your sacrum, like we did before, fingers face up or down. Now first inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the buttocks down towards the earth. Keep pressing the butt down. Now lift out of the lower back. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky, reach the crown back. Exhale, take the fingertips to the floor, straighten your front leg. Adha Hanuman, flex the front foot if you can. Now, if you prefer to have your right hand to the inside of your right foot, you can do that, absolutely. Let the shoulders relax, the sternum reach forward. Now, just breathe some space into the right hamstrings. If you feel like the weight's fallen off to the left, just firm that left hip back into the center line and try to move the upper back through the chest to lengthen in the fold. Now everyone slowly re-bend your right leg, lift the chest as if you're doing upward dog. Now send your right foot back and up in the bow shape like what we did before and place your hands flat. Imagine touching the head with the foot. The left hand comes to the heart, you could just stay there. Or maybe the left hand reaches around and grabs a hold of your right foot or ankle. Now kick your foot back into your hand, lift the chest. Find the bow shape. Breathe. Keep the right arm strong, keep the chest lifted. Next exhalation, extend the right heel straight back, the left arm straight forwards, draw the belly and rib cage in, straight line in the spine. Then lower the left hand and right knee down. Anahatasana, walk the hands forwards, you can coil in. Then melt the heart, chin or forehead to the earth on the exhalation. Arms straight, forearms lifting away from the floor.
dolphin pose. Shift forwards, plant the forearms down. Get the shoulders above your elbows and switch on your biceps. Now relax your head, breathe into the upper back, look towards your knees. Curl onto your toes, inhale. Straighten the legs, dolphin pose, exhale. Walk your feet in a little bit more if you're comfortable. Keep pressing the forearms down. Keep the shoulders above the elbows. Relax the head, look towards the feet. Try to keep pressing into the forearms to send the heels down. Keep breathing, keep pressing, keep lifting the head away from the floor. And then slowly walk the feet back, come to a forearm plank. Now on an inhalation, I want you to draw your elbows and feet towards each other through the floor, activate the core. Exhale, extend the heels away from the crown of the head, find a straight line. Inhale, draw the elbows and feet towards each other, switch on the core. Exhale, extend from the center. One more time, inhale, draw in. Exhale, extend out. Release your hips to the floor, untuck the toes for sphinx. Press into the tops of the feet, even the little toe size of your feet. Switch on the quadriceps, lift the energy in the legs, draw the elbows to the hips and lift the heart up. On an exhalation, just bow your head, stretch out the back of your neck. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale, bow the head, stretch out the neck. One more time, sphinx pulsation. And exhale, bow. Take the forehead towards the floor. If you can, interlace the fingers behind your back. Keep the feet pressing down first. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Keep reaching the knuckles back. If you feel good, you can lift your legs as well. Keep the legs straight, keep breathing. Now bring your hands next to your lower ribs, wrists below elbows, let the tops of the feet touch. Inhale, rise upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, adjust yourself where you need to on the mat. Lengthen your spine, reaching the hips away from the fingertips. Now back to the mandala. Next inhale, lift the left leg up slowly as the right heel descends. Then exhale, bring left knee towards nose, lift up high on the right toes. Step the left foot forwards for Pajava, Anjaneyasana. Turn both feet to the left, sweep the left arm. Now bring the left arm back around, pivot your feet, Skandasana to the right leg at the back of the mat. Keep flowing to the back, so all the way over the right foot, turn Pajava, Anjaneyasana, sweep the right arm. Now bring the right arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the left leg at the top of the mat. Now keep flowing to the left foot, turn the left foot forwards, lift the back heel, lower the right knee, untuck the toe. Now as you lift the torso, bring right hand to the belly, left hand to the sacrum, right hand pulls in and up, left hand presses down. I want you just to remind yourself of the action of lifting the pelvis because otherwise you just end up dumping into the stretch. So lift. Then raise the arms up. Let the energy still rise up. Draw the left heel towards the back knee. Lift the heart. Then you'll circle your hands to your sacrum. Fingers face up or down again. First inhale is to lift the chest. The exhale presses the butt down, hugs the arms in. Use the inhalation to lift the heart towards the sky. Keep pressing the bum down. As you exhale, take the fingertips to the floor, straighten the front leg, Adha Hanuman. If you can, flex the left foot back, do that. If you brought your arm on the inside of your left foot, you could do that with your left hand there. Now 
Remember, we're trying to lengthen the fold. So move the upper back through the chest. Firm the right hip into the center line if it feels like you're falling off to the side. And then match that with the left hip. Now slowly re-bend your left leg. Lift the chest with an inhale as if you're doing cobra. Now find the bow shape. Send the left foot back and up. Place the hands flat under the shoulders. Now right hand comes to the heart. You could just stay there. Or maybe the right hand reaches back and grabs a hold of the left foot or ankle. Kick your foot back into your hand. Lift the chest. Keep breathing. Keep kicking the foot back. Feel that activate the left quad. Feel that open the right shoulder and chest. Next exhale, extend left heel back, right hand forward, draw belly, root cage in. Then place right hand and left knee down. Anahatasana, walk the hands forwards, inhale. Melt the heart, chin or forehead to the earth on your exhale. Every exhale, it feels like the chest and chin go closer to the earth. Okay, dolphin pose, round two. Shift forwards, get the shoulders directly above the elbows. Switch on the biceps, relax the head, breathe into the upper back. Look towards the knees, curl under the toes. When you're ready, straighten the legs. Walk the feet in a bit closer. Keep pressing the forearms down. Keep the head relaxed and away from the floor. Now, if you're feeling good this time, you can step the left foot forwards a little more and lift your right leg up, ekapada. Now, you could just stay there, or if you're working with pincher, see if you can send your left foot up towards the sky. Stand on the ceiling where you are. Flex through the feet. Keep pressing down to lift up. Keep pressing, keep lifting. Now if you went up, slowly lower your feet back down. Everyone come to forearm plank again. Activate your core, draw energy into the center. Radiate from the center, exhaling. Again, inhale, draw energy into the center. Exhale, radiate from center. Last time, activate your core. Pull in and then radiate out. Release the hips to the floor. Untuck the toes for the sphinx pulsation. Inhale, lift head and chest. Exhale, bow the head, stretch out the neck. Keep the legs active. Inhale, lift head and chest. Exhale, bow the head, stretch out the neck. Last one. And bow. Take the head towards the floor and take the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers again behind your back. Now this time we're going to bend the legs. Take the feet towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift head, chest and thighs. Reach your knuckles back through the gap between your legs if you can. Keep breathing, keep lifting. Now everyone extend the legs straight back, inner thighs up. Bring the hands next to the lower ribs, let the tops of the feet touch. Inhale, rise upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, adjust yourself where you need to on your mat. Press into the hands, reach your hips back. Next inhale, back to the mandala, raise the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward for Pajra Anjaneyasana. Turn both feet to the right, sweep the right arm and breathe. 
Bring the right arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the left leg, maybe just one arm this time. Keep flowing to the back, turn both feet to the left, sweep the left arm, Pajva Anjaneyasana. Bring the left arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the right leg with a bit of your spine. Turn the right foot forwards, lift the back heel, Vira Crescent. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Now you can do a little bend in the back leg. Remember that action of the pelvis that we did in Anjaneyasana? It applies here as well. Keep the energy rising up. Next exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back. Now connect your knuckles to your back leg if you can. Inhale, open the shoulders and chest. Now exhale, press your knuckles down into your back leg. And now see if you can press your back leg up into your knuckles. Open the chest. Breathe. Next inhale, come back to neutral, sweep the arms up. Exhale, circle the arms back and down, straighten your front leg, pyramid pose. Firm the right hip back towards the left foot, ground through the four corners of the right foot. Fold calmly over your right straight leg. Now slowly re-bend your right leg, lift the chest. Find a one-legged plank, right foot back. Chaturanga with your leg lifted. Then join the foot, upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg mandala time, lift it up slowly. Exhale, step it through for Pajva Anjaneyasana. Turn both feet to the left. Inhale there, sweep the left arm. Bring the left arm back around, pivot your feet. Skandasana to the right leg with a bit of your style. Keep flowing to the back. Turn both feet to the right. Sweep the right arm. Bring the right arm back around, pivot your feet. Skandasana to the left leg with your style. Flow to Vira Crescent, left foot forwards. Lift the back heel, sweep the arms up. Remember the action of lifting the pelvis. Remember the energy lifting through the spine. On your exhalation, you can interlace your fingers behind you, connect your knuckles to your back leg. Inhale, open the shoulders. Exhale, press your knuckles down into your back leg, but your back leg up into your knuckles. Keep breathing, open the chest. Next inhale, neutral, sweep the arms up. Exhale, circle the hands down to the floor, straighten your front leg, pyramid pose. Firm the left hip in and back towards the right foot. Fold over that straight leg, moving the shoulders down your back. Patient breaths into the hamstrings. Now slowly re-bend the left leg, lift the chest. Find one-legged plank, inhale there, reaching left foot back. Chaturanga, exhale. Join the foot, upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. Back to the mandala, right leg, inhale, lift it slowly. Exhale, step it through. Pajma, Anjaneyasana, turn both feet to the right. Inhale, sweep the arm. Bring the right arm back around, pivot your feet, skandasana to the left leg, your style. Keep flowing to the back, turn both feet to the left, sweep the left arm. 
Bring the left arm back around, pivot your feet. Skandasana to the right leg, your style. Flow to warrior one, turn the right foot forwards, the back foot's on a diagonal, back heel is down. Lift the arms up. Lift the front of the pelvis again. Try to move that outer left hip towards the inner right knee. Now this time as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind you again. We're coming to Bhakti Virabhadrasana. Inhale, reach the knuckles back. Open the shoulders and chest. Exhale, bow. Take your right shoulder towards your inner right knee. Keep moving the right butt cheek towards the left heel. Keep the left leg strong. Get the crown of the head floating off the floor. Breathe. Breathe into the glute, the right hip, wherever you feel it. Now press into the right heel, return to warrior one. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then circle your arms back and down, straighten your front leg, Pajvottanasana. So the heels are just about in one line, the back foot still like it was in warrior one. Right hips moving back towards the left heel. You're folding and lengthening over the right leg. Slowly, re-bend the right leg, lift the back heel. Now, three-legged dog, lift the right leg up, inhale, shift forwards, chaturanga with the leg lifted if you can. Then join the foot, upward-facing dog, downward-facing dog. Left leg, mandala time, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step, left foot forwards, the Pajva Anjaneyasana. Turn both feet to the left. Sweep the left arm. Bring the left arm back around. Pivot your feet. Skandasana to the right leg, your side. Keep flowing to the back. Turn both feet to the right. Sweep the right arm. Bring the right arm back around. Pivot your feet. Skandasana to the left leg, your side. Flow to warrior one. Left foot forwards. Back heel down. Sweep the arms up. Remember, lift the front of the pelvis. Move that outer right hip towards the inner left knee. Let the energy rise. On your exhalation, interlace the fingers behind you. Bhakti Virabhadrasana. Inhale, reach the knuckles back. Open the shoulders and chest. Exhale, bow. Left shoulder towards inner left knee. Head heavy. Left hip moves back towards right heel. Outer edge of right foot's pressing. Right leg still strong and active. Press actively into left heel. Return to warrior one. Sweep the arms up. Then circle the arms back and down, straighten your front leg. Pajvottanasana. Left hip still moves back towards right heel. Fold over the straight left leg and ground through the four corners of the left foot. Patient breaths in the hamstring. Lift the quads if you can. Slowly, re-bend the left leg, lift the back heel. Find the three-legged dog, inhale, left leg up. Shift forwards, chaturanga with the leg high. Then join the foot, upward-facing dog. Downward-facing dog, everyone. Once you find downward dog, you're going to lower your knees to the floor. Get your mat from three quarters, fold it back on itself, and bring your knees onto the padded mat. Now keep lifting the pelvis, keep the spine straight. Bring the right palm on top of the left in some Kalpa Mudra. It's like you've got a little seed in your hand, something that you're nurturing right now in your life. Now keep the spine straight. Take an inhale 
As you exhale, rock back, feel it in the quads. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, centre. Exhale, rock back. Spine straight. Inhale, centre. Exhale, rock back. One more. Inhale, centre. Exhale, rock back. Centre. Inhale. Now hands to sacrum, everyone. Exhale. Fingers face up or down, just like before. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale. Press the buttocks down towards the back of the knees. Use your inhale to open the chest towards the sky. Keep hugging the arms in. Maybe reach the crown back. Keep breathing. Keep pressing the buttocks down. I really want you to lift out of your lower back. Lift up and arc back. Keep pressing the buttocks down. Keep pressing into the tops of the feet. Inhaling, slowly come up. Heads are the last thing to come up. Exhale, sit on the heels. Lift the pelvis again. Rest the hands on the thighs. Relax the shoulders. Lift the crown up. Soak in the experience so far. Now, if you folded up your mat like I did, just open your eyes and unfold the mat. And everyone, hands on thighs, open the eyes, inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Exhale, bow towards the earth and just bring the hands next to the knees. Now, inhale, hands on thighs, open the heart again to the sky. Bhakti Vajrasana, Anahatasana, take the hands forwards. Hips are above the knees. So Anahatasana, melt the chest, chin and forehead down on the exhalations. The inhalations, there can be a sort of coiling in and rounding, kind of like a counter pose there and cat pose. Okay, and then shift forwards for our third and final dolphin pose. So remember, the shoulders land just above your elbows. Bicep switch on. Relax your head. Breathe into the upper back like a cat. Look towards your knees. Curl under the toes. When you're ready to straighten the legs, straighten the legs. Walk your feet in a bit more. If you're comfortable, keep pressing forearms down. Look towards the feet. Now remember, you could just stay there. Or set the right foot forwards a bit more, lift the left leg up in Ekapada. You could just stay there. If you're working with pincher, see if you can stand on the ceiling. Drive up through the heels. Keep pressing down to lift up. If you went up, slowly, make your way down, everyone, to forearm plank. Activate your core, draw energy in, radiate from the core, heels away from the crown. Again, inhale, draw in, exhale, radiate out. Last one, inhale, draw in, and exhale, extend and release the hips to the floor for sphinx pulsation. Drive the legs back, inhale, lift the chest. Bow the head, exhale, stretch out the back of the neck. Again, inhale, lift chest, press forearms down, drive legs back and exhale, bow the head. Last one. Now exhale, take the forehead down, bend your legs, reach back and grab your ankles or feet. Dhanurasana. On an inhale, kick the feet back into the hands, lift the chest, lift the thighs. Keep breathing. Start to bring the weight slightly forwards towards the lower ribs. Keep kicking the legs up. Keep breathing. Knees not too wide. Now extend the legs straight back, bring the hands next to the lower ribs. Let the tops of the feet touch. Inhale, rise, upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, everyone. 
Adjust yourself on the mat. Reach the hips away from your hands again. Okay, back to the mandala. Last time we'll do it each side. So try to really enjoy the movement. Inhale, lift right leg. Exhale, step right foot forwards for Pajva Anjanayasana. Turn both feet to the right. Sweep the right arm. Bring the right arm back around. Pivot your feet. Skandasana to the left leg. Your style. Keep flowing to the back. Turn both feet to the left. Sweep the left arm. Bring the left arm back around. Pivot your feet. Skandasana to the right leg. Now we flow to warrior two. If you have a block, place it on the outside of the right heel. Back heel's down. Left arm's going to pick you up in warrior two. Now the pelvic bones are working towards level. Right knee hasn't collapsed in. Left leg strong. Make a peace sign with both your hands. Peace. Make love, not war. Then bring the peace fingers together. These are like two swords in your hands. Now find warrior two with these swords in your hands, prana mudra. Now when you inhale, I want you to draw the feet towards each other through the floor and cross the wrists in front of your heart. Pull energy to the center. Exhale, radiate out in inner strength, prana mudra in warrior two. Inhale, cross the wrists in front of the heart. Pull the energy to the center. Exhale, radiate in inner strength, prana mudra. Inhale, draw energy in. Exhale, radiate in inner strength. Dissolve the mudra. Wrap the left arm behind your back. See if you can find the top of your right thigh or just grab your clothes. Start to straighten the right leg. Lift the quads and shift your right hip back to the inner left leg using the help of the left hand. Now, if you don't have a block, just put the right hand down on your shin. If you've got a block, you can place your right hand down on the block on the outside of your ankle. Now, everyone, stack left shoulder on top of the right. Extend the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Glide the shoulders down your back. Keep moving that right hip back towards the left leg. Half-bound triangle pose. Breathe. Now look towards your right foot. We're coming to half bound, half moon. Bend your right leg. Heel toe the back foot in. Take the right hand or the block forwards. When you straighten the right leg, the left foot floats up off the floor. Drive the heel away from the crown. Either stay there or take your pasana by bending the left leg, reaching the left hand and grabbing the left ankle. Kick your foot back into your hand. Breathe. Then everyone, Adha Chandrasana, send the left heel back away from the crown, left hand up to the sky, gaze to the floor, left hand to the floor, standing splits. You can wrap your right arm behind your right calf, lift the left leg higher. If you felt like you wanted to take handstands, you could, Otherwise, just enjoy the hamstring opening. Maybe you want to balance in standing splits, holding both hands behind your calf. If you went up to handstand, float the right foot back down, then everyone bend right leg, step the left foot back, drop the left knee, Untuck the back toe. Back to Anjaneyasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, circle the arms back and down. Straighten the front leg. Either Adha Hanuman and stay, or full Hanuman if you feel ready. Come into your full split. No forcing or straining. Just follow the breath. Now slowly, re-bend your right leg 
Make your way into a lunge with the right hand on the inside of the right foot. Okay, kind of like a lizard lunge. Now you could stay there or bring the right hand to the heart. You could stay there or reach the right hand back and see if you can hold on to your left foot. Radha Krishnasana. Now this is quite deep, just like that. But if you've got any more, inhale, kick the foot back, open your chest. Exhale, bow towards the earth, bring the heel close towards the bum. Kick the foot back, inhale, open the shoulder and chest again. Exhale, bow. Last one, inhale, kick the foot back open. And then exhale, bow. Now carefully release the foot if you had it. Now everyone send the right leg up in a three-legged dog. So find your way there. Now option number one, bend your right leg. Imagine touching your head with your foot and then scorpion tail chaturanga. Otherwise option two, chin stand. Shift forwards, take chest, chin down, pick left foot up. We'll meet in downward dog. Okay, find your way back there. Let's come to the mandala, left leg leading. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Pajna Anjanayasana. Enjoy the movement. Both feet to the left, sweep left arm. Bring the left arm back around. Pivot your feet. Skandasana to the right leg, your style. Keep flowing to the back. Turn both feet to the right. Sweep the right arm. Swing the right arm back around. Pivot the feet. Skandasana to the left leg. Now we flow to warrior two. If you had your block, you place it on the outside of your ankle. Right arm picks you up. Make sure the knee hasn't collapsed in. Right leg strong. Front of the pelvis lifting, tail descending. Find prana mudra. Remember your peace sign with the peace fingers together. Inhale, draw in energy in front of the heart, cross the wrists. Exhale, radiate out in inner strength. Inhale, cross the wrist in front of the heart. Pull energy to the center. Exhale, radiate out in strength. Last one, draw energy in. Radiate in inner strength. Dissolve the mudra. Wrap your right arm behind your back. Find the top of your left thigh or grab your clothes. Start to straighten the left leg. Shift your left hip back to your inner right leg. Either the left hand just goes down on the shin if you don't have your block. Otherwise, left hand goes down to the block. Right shoulder stacks on top of left. Shoulders glide down the back, crown reaches forwards. Lift the front of the pelvis, lift the quadriceps. Breathe. Now slowly look towards left foot, half bound, half moon, bend left leg, heel toe, back foot in. Take the left hand or block forwards. When you straighten the left leg, the right foot floats up. Either stay there or chapasana, bend right leg, reach right hand back, grab a hold of your right foot, kick your foot back into your hand. Breathe. Now everyone, Adha Chandrasana, right heel extends away from the crown, right hand reaches up to the sky, then standing splits, gaze to the floor, right hand to the floor. You can wrap your left arm behind your calf, you could take handstand if that's what you did on the other side, or work towards finding the balance in standing splits. Pretty tricky. If you went up to handstand, all you do is float your left foot back down, so then we can all bend the left leg, step the right foot back, coming to a lunge, and then dropping the right knee into the floor, untucking the back toe. Anjaneyasana, sweep the arms up, draw the left heel to the back knee, lift the heart. As you exhale, circle the arms down to the floor, straighten the front leg, 
either Hanuman, half split, or full Hanuman if that's what we did on the other side. So just take it slowly, no forcing or straining. Relax the jaw, relax the shoulders. Breathe space into the body, stay calm in the mind. Slowly, re-bend your left leg. Everyone make your way to the lunge with the left hand on the inside of the left foot. Lift the chest, like a lizard lunge. Now you could stay there or bring left hand to the heart. You could stay there or reach the left hand back, see if you can hold onto your right foot. Now stay there or kick the foot back, open the chest. Radha Krishnasana, exhale, bow. Take forehead towards floor. Kick the foot back, open the chest, inhale, bow, exhale. Last one, inhale, kick the foot back, open, and then exhale, bow. Slowly lift up, release the foot. Remember the option, so we start with a three-legged dog. Send the left leg up. Now either a scorpion tail, just bend your left leg, move the chest forwards, Chaturanga with a scorpion tail, or chin stand, shift forwards, try to pick the right foot up. We'll meet back in downward dog when you're ready. Okay, when you get to downward dog, lower your knees, Fold your mat on itself again to pad your knees and then put your knees on the padded mat. Now first, Sankalpa, right palm on top of left, keep spine straight, inhale, exhale, rock back, inhale, center, exhale, rock back, inhale, center, exhale, rock back. Inhale, center, keep your spine straight. Exhale, rock back. Last one, center, and rock back. Come back to center, bring hands to sacrum. Now we're going to have options to come all the way to Ustrasana, otherwise stay here with the hands at the sacrum. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the buttocks down towards the back of the knees. Keep lifting the heart. Now, if you're almost out of stress, then you could curl under the toes a bit, and then your heels are higher, so you can just reach back and hold your heels. So you could just stay there, extend crown back. Or you could find the tops of the feet. Full Ustrasana, breathe. When you're ready, you put it in reverse. Hands on sacrum, head the last thing to lift. Lift the pelvis, sit on the heels, find a straight spine, rest the hands on the thighs, soak in the experience. Now if you fold it up your mat like I did, just open your eyes, unfold your mat. And everyone, hands on thighs, eyes open, Inhale, lift the heart, bow to the earth, hands next to the knees, exhale. Now this time, press into the hands, straighten the arms and bring the knees into your chest, round your upper back, keep the toes down, then lower the shins to the floor. Now just lean off to the side so you can extend your legs now forwards. We'll take a forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Hands next to the hips. Inhale, lift the arms up, lengthen the spine, draw the belly in and exhale, start to fold forwards towards your feet, your shins or a strap if you need it, okay? Shoulders down, sternum and crown forward. Use the inhales to find some length. Use the exhales to surrender deeper into your pose. So 
See if the quads can lift, the legs can stay straight. Few more breaths. Patience. Next inhale, gently release, and as you exhale, come up. Let's take a twist, everyone. Put the right foot over the top of the left leg and ground through the right foot. You can either keep the left leg straight or just lean off to the left and the left leg back on itself so the left heel comes towards your right hip. Now the right fingers go into the floor behind you. Left arm reaches up, inhale. Take the left elbow across the other side of your leg. Ardha Matsyandrasana, lift energy up the spine, slide the shoulders down and twist using the help of the core. Move that left lower rib cage towards your inner right thigh and think of keeping the back of the skull in line with your spine. Not too much weight in the back hand. Breathe space into the spine. Next inhalation. Very gently release, and as you exhale, briefly de-rotate. Come back to center, extend your legs. We'll just do all that with the other side. So step the left foot over the top of your right leg. You can lean off to the side so you can bend your right leg back on itself so the right heel comes towards the left hip. Otherwise, just keep the right leg straight. Left fingertips to the floor behind you. Right arm lifts up with an inhale. Take the right arm across the other side of your left leg. Now use the inhale to get more lift in the spine. Use the exhale to twist. Remember the right lower rib cage is moving towards the inner left leg. The shoulders descend, the crown rises. You breathe in the twist. Next inhale, gently release. Exhale, briefly de-rotate. Now just take the feet forwards, hip distance apart, shuffle your bum forwards. Let's make our way onto the back slowly, reaching the arms through the legs, engaging the core, coming all the way down onto your back. Okay, we'll just set up a few rounds of bridge breathing or bridge pose. So fingertips just touching the heels. If you just want to do the bridge breathing, Press into the feet, inhale, lift the hips and lift the arms at the same time. And as you exhale, you just release the arms and release the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. So it's like a spinal massage. You can keep going with that or just come into bridge pose, lifting the hips and interlacing the fingers underneath you. Press into both feet, lift the hips up higher, move the knuckles towards the space between your feet. So depending on the spine, either just stay with the breathing or come into bridge pose. If you feel like you're very ready for wheel pose and you've just got to do it, now would be the time to take the fingers underneath the shoulders, press onto the crown of the head, hug the arms in, adjust what needs to, and then press down to lift up. Urdhva Dhanurasana. When you're ready to come out of your experience, find your way to Sukta Bhattakonasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, left hand on the heart, right hand on the belly. Just let everything settle. Now use your hands to gather your knees in, 
Take the forehead towards the knees, curl into a ball, switch on your core. We'll just finish with some easy twists. Take the arms out by the sides. With an exhale, drop both legs to the right. Keep that left shoulder blade grounded. If you want a deeper twist, you can bind your left leg over your right. And just breathe some space into the left side of your torso. Breathe from the left hip all the way up to the left armpit. Taking out any last little bits of tension in the spine, counterposing all the back bending we've done through the practice. And you use a little bit of core strength to bring your legs back to center. Stay for a breath and then wait for the exhalation to take your legs over to the left. Mirror exactly what you just did. If you did the bind, you could do right leg over left. Make sure that right shoulder blade's grounded. And I want you to breathe from the right hip all the way through the right rib cage up to the right armpit. Think of even wrapping that right rib cage back towards the mat. And then you use a little bit of core strength, bring the legs back to center, give the knees a brief little squeeze or a brief happy baby or whatever you need before the most important pose of the practice, Shavasana. So any movements you need to make, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, extend your heels away from the crown of your head now. Let the legs completely relax. I want you to tune in to what we cultivated through our mandala sequence. Feel the spaciousness in the hips, the inner thighs, the adductors, maybe feeling the hamstrings lengthened, feeling that energy now move through the lower limbs, all the way down to your feet and toes. It's like a subtle sensation or a warmth. Now feel your lower back spacious as the buttocks moves to the heels one last time. And then as the spine rests in its neutral position, visualize space between the vertebrae. So we did a lot of back bending through the sequence. So now allow this energy to move through the spine and go out into the rest of the body. Maybe that energy now even radiates beyond your body. You've filled your cup again with prana, vitality. Just notice the rise and fall of your chest or stomach as you breathe. No longer any need to control the breath. Just let the breath breathe itself. Feeling for the spaciousness around the shoulders and chest from our journey to Ustrasana Kamal and all the backbending we did on the way to Urdhva Dhanurasana, the wheel pose. Maybe feeling the strengthening of the arms from all the weight bearing in the hands. And you notice the sensations down the arms all the way to the palms and fingers. Feeling the arms and hands energized with prana. Visualize your neck spacious. Now relax your facial muscles, including your jaw, your lips, your eyelids, your forehead. Even the crown of the head wants to relax.
the whole body from the crown to the tips of the toes and fingers settles, relaxes. Your attention stays in the body. Shavasana. Now you can feel free just to stay in your Shavasana as long as you need to. But as you feel ready, you could start to deepen your breath. Maybe bring movement to the toes, fingers, ankles or wrists. You could stretch your arms up above your head, reaching the hands away from the feet, feeling like you've just woken up again today here in Sydney or wherever you are, just feeling energy move through the body. And then you'll roll to your side, any side. Be there nice and calm, resting your heart. And then slowly make your way to a comfortable seat. Maybe seated on the heels, like how we started our practice. Hands on thighs, shoulders down, crown of the head rising. And with a feeling of being humble and quiet, you bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra, noticing the difference in how you feel now than when you first started, feeling the effect of our mandala sequence, our journey through back bending and hamstring lengthening. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through your practice. Let's all take a nice deep inhale. Open the mouth, have a clearing exhale. Again, deep inhale. Open mouth, clearing exhale. Last one, biggest breath. Let it out, exhale. Namaste, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the sequence. Any questions, feel free to ask and enjoy your day or night wherever you are thank you so much zoe you made it good to see you thanks claire and william thanks em hope you all enjoyed the sequence see you soon